I'm on anxiety medication, so half of what I might say may not make sense. I read on some comment that you give away free hugs after every show of yours. Do you really do that? I don't give away free hugs, and especially with COVID, we have completely stopped meeting um, audience members. We actually stopped doing that because we realized that if you don't have a safe environment, it's not ideal to meet um, you know strangers. So we have completely stopped that, especially because of COVID. So I'm a 12th grade student and going through a very bad phase in my life with my anxiety going out of control because my family issues, relationships, future worries. At some point, I started getting suicidal thoughts and kept inside for quite some time because I was worried I would seem stupid and laughed at. Today, I told two of my friends about it. Never felt luckier. They have been so highly supportive and I'll never be able to repay them. On the other hand, my parents are still struggling with the whole anxiety being a problem thing, which is a bugger. And I hope they understand soon too. But all I wanted to say is that you've really helped me stay sane during this highly fucked up phase of my life. Whenever I sense highly anxious thoughts coming my way, I listen to your podcasts and videos and over and over again. Oh, that's very sweet. Thank you. What are you doing is a wonderful, wonderful thing. I have no words to express. Conveying gratitude. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Aditi. I ha- I just have one word for you. Go for therapy. I am not a professional um, mental health professional so please go for therapy and if your argument is my parents will know i'm sure you've lied to your parents about other stuff lie about this also just you don't have to convince your parents about mental health just the same way you can't convince your parents about um, sexual stuff or relationships or how you're feeling about things or you are experimenting with alcohol so you can't tell them that stuff anyway so just assume mental health is one of those things because I think what's priority here Aditi is you not having suicidal thoughts and you not harming yourself you don't have to also change your parents mindset on top of that take care of yourself first so uh, because of COVID a lot of therapists are also doing WhatsApp and Zoom sessions so you can you didn't have to leave your house uh, I'm so glad you have friends who supported you so glad and good job in reaching out to them and if you're wondering how can I afford therapy? Therapy is not that expensive. I would recommend literally saving up. Stop spending on other stuff and they keep a quota for mental health for paying a therapist. And if you do enough research, you could find a, a therapist who are kind of giving subsidized rates for, I think, you seem pretty young. So I think just, just, just look for it. You'll find. And also, I wanted to bring this up about therapy is that just because you go to therapy doesn't mean it'll solve it but that's the right direction to go in versus nothing and therapy is exactly like gym it's like if I said oh you want to get fit you want to lose weight go to the gym it doesn't mean anything will happen you have to go to gym regularly you have to hopefully find a good trainer you have to have the motivation to keep going to the gym you have to have the motivation to do what the gym instructor is telling you diligently and also when you get out of the gym, you don't eat crap. Therapy is exactly like that. So it's not some magical thing uh, where I went for therapy, life is still shit. Therapy also takes a lot of time, takes a couple of years. I, I saw results after three years. But nothing is there out there that solves it instantly, like everything else. You want to work out, it takes a couple of years. You want to get better at finance, it takes a couple of years. You want to learn a skill, it takes a couple of years. So just like that, therapy takes a couple of years. But it's better than nothing. Hey, if listening to one hour long podcast isn't your thing, this is the perfect channel for you. Please subscribe for more such short recordings of me talking alone or with my friends. And how can I not say it? Like, share and subscribe. Thank you.